Joining us now is Pastor Daryl Scott. He's with the National Diversity Coalition. What has called Trump a racist? But don't you meet on a weekly basis with the president's chief of staff to discuss minority housing? I think you met with him this week, didn't you? Yes, I did. We've been meeting with the White House uh, for several months now regarding an a very ambitious and aggressive urban revitalization program that we're going to be initiating very, very soon. We've been dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and this is going to be a blessing to America, really. Well, why is Maxine Waters saying this kind of thing? Listen, you know what? This, this race card that the Democratic Party keeps playing is getting played out. It's about as worn out as a deck of cards in the penitentiary. No matter what the president does, no matter what the president says, they're going to try to play the race card when they don't have anything else. You know, she talks about the president being acting or behaving presidentially. She needs to act and behave congressionally. You know, we have, you know, you have what they call the drunk uncle. She acts like the crazy aunt. There's just rambling and babbling incessantly over every little thing, and her act is becoming very, very stale. Ma Max needs to worry about her congressional district and the condition that it's in and the fact that there are candidates out there breathing down her neck that are threatening to unseat her in the next election. Uh, Pastor, the Bible says thou shalt not steal, but I'm going to steal that line about the deck of cards in the penitentiary. <laughs> That's a fact. I mean, you got to get that visual in your mind. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> next one. The Congressional Black Caucus didn't stand when the president mentioned unemployment. Roll tape and look at it. African-American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. Pastor, is there a disconnect between black leadership and some in the black community? There's a huge disconnect between black leadership. Let me tell you something. I really believe that the Congressional Black Caucus, first of all, they were very juvenile and immature sitting there. They looked uh, ridiculous. You know, they're looking at their phones, they're playing Candy Crunch, they're texting, they're doing everything but behaving the way they should behave, number one. Number, yeah, they're very, very juvenile. Number two, I thought that they must have confused the State of the Union address for a UN, UN meeting because they had these uh, this kente cloth stuff on. And um, there's a huge disconnect there. The man on the street doesn't think the way they think. They went in there pre-planning to not uh, engage in anything that the president said. But I really believe that if it was up to the Congressional Black Caucus, black unemployment, they would rather black unemployment be at an all-time high mm -hmm. rather than an all-time low so that they could have something to criticize and accuse this administration over. Pastor, we always thank you for joining us on the show. Great pleasure to have you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. God bless you. God bless you.